Step into the world of a classic TV series that took viewers on patrol with two LAPD officers. With its realistic portrayal of police work and the dynamic between partners, the show became a symbol of the industry. But what keeps fans hooked? Is it the authentic depiction of law enforcement, the bond between partners, or the thrilling scenarios they encounter? As we explore deeper into the series, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. From funny moments that will make you laugh to shocking twists that will keep you on the edge of your seat, and even heart-wrenching scenes that tug at your emotions, there's something for everyone. As you watch, reflect on your own experiences related to the show. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So keep watching and share your thoughts with us. The series is widely regarded as one of the best TV shows of its time. It offers a compelling mix of drama, humor, and action, providing viewers with a realistic portrayal of police work in the late 60s and early 70s. The show is notable for its clean presentation, devoid of explicit language, sexuality, or graphic violence. Instead, it focuses on depicting the daily challenges and responsibilities faced by police officers on the beat. At the heart of the series is Jack Webb's vision, known for his support of law enforcement and his efforts to highlight the work of the average cop. Webb's personal background likely influenced his commitment to portraying accountability and responsibility within the police force. Although he himself was not a police officer, his collaboration with the LAPD and his dedication to producing an entertaining yet straightforward police drama are evident throughout the series. Adam 12 stands out for its simplicity and authenticity, contrasting with the more morally ambiguous portrayals of law enforcement seen in contemporary media. The absence of CGI and exaggerated action sequences contributes to its charm, making it feel more like a training film for civilians rather than a typical television drama. In summary, Adam-12 offers a nostalgic glimpse into a bygone era of policing while still resonating with modern audiences. Its emphasis on duty, honor, and respect makes it a timeless classic that is worth watching even today. In many episodes, a gold Mustang with a white top is also seen. Martin Milner's youngest son, Andrew, served as Johnny Whitaker's stunt driver in Adam-12 Northwest Division, riding a minibike. Malloy's badge number was 744, while Reed's was 2430. These numbers are reissued once an officer retires, making them serial numbers. Reed's serial number was 1389 and 85, indicating his academy class from the year he joined the LAPD. Malloy's serial number was 10743. The police code one Adam 12 featured in the show didn't align with actual LAPD unit designations. However, this discrepancy didn't affect the fictional nature of the series. Martin Milner's daughter, Amy, appeared in an episode as Debbie McMahon, the daughter of a victim in a robbery. Kent McCourt, who shared a birthday with Julie London, starred alongside her in both Adam 12 and Emergency. This blend of personal connections and on-screen chemistry added depth to the shows, enriching the viewing experience for audiences. The camaraderie between the cast members transcended the screen, resonating with viewers long after the credits rolled. It's these small details and human connections that make television memorable and enduring, capturing the essence of storytelling at its finest. So, while the police code may not have been entirely accurate, the heart and soul of the series remained authentic and captivating, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. In scenes featuring radio calls, she'd lie in the back of the patrol car, ensuring seamless timing between the dispatcher and the officers. Her lines were added later in post-production. Besides Adam, other patrol units mentioned included Mary, X-Ray, Zebra, LW, and TL. One unit air was specifically for helicopter patrols. The revolver sported wood grips with finger grooves, custom made by former LAPD gun range Master Earl Fuzzy Ferrant, adding a touch of authenticity to the show's firearms. In Nashville Beat, Kent McCord starred alongside Martin Milner, his co-star from the show. McCord portrayed an LAPD captain visiting his friend Milner, who had transitioned from an LA cop to a Nashville cop. A blue Ford Maverick made regular appearances throughout the series, becoming a familiar sight for viewers. Malloy's exceptional shooting skills earned him the title of a distinguished expert pistol shot, while Reed was recognized as a sharpshooter. These distinctions added depth to their characters and showcased their proficiency in law enforcement. McCord's collaboration with Milner beyond Adam-12 highlighted their enduring friendship and professional rapport, resonating with fans of the series. Their on-screen chemistry contributed to the show's success and enduring popularity. In a famous TV show, different police cars, such as a cool 1967 model and a strong 1972 one, were prominently featured. 
The main actor, who portrayed Officer Peter Maloney in multiple series, brought the character to life in various situations. Interestingly, there were recurring police characters named Jerry who played different roles. It's interesting to see how these characters evolve in different situations, adding depth to the story. The sleek design of the 1967 model and the powerful 1972 one became well-known symbols of the show, representing law enforcement during a time of change and challenges. The lead actor infused Officer Peter Malloy with a mix of charm and authority, making him a favorite among fans and anchoring the series with a compelling performance. As the episodes progressed, viewers were immersed in the lives of these dedicated officers dealing with the complexities of crime and justice in their community. The recurring presence of officers named Jerry provided consistency amid the evolving storylines, offering a sense of familiarity in the midst of street chaos. Each encounter, arrest, and tense moment added another layer to the engaging narrative of the series. It shows the lasting appeal of well-developed characters and captivating stories that continue to attract audiences even today. In the series, Officer Malloy's bachelor status was a significant plot element, although Martin Milner had actually been married for 12 years when the show started. Similarly, Kent McCord had been married for seven years. Mac occasionally and jokingly refers Tom Malloy as the Strawberry Fox due to his good looks and light blonde hair with a hint of red. The show is respected in law enforcement circles for its accurate use of police codes, both numerical and acronymic, in radio communication. These codes like ADWDB, Code 2, Code 3, 211, 415, and 459 are usually pronounced digit by digit and often not explicitly explained to the viewer. However, Code 7 is one code that's frequently either explained or understood without explicit explanation, integral to the action. Known for its meticulous portrayal of police procedures, selected episodes of this series were utilized in police academies as instructional tools. The show setting was the LAPD's Rampart Division, situated northwest of downtown Los Angeles. Throughout its run, Adam 12 featured guest appearances from esteemed actors, including two Oscar winners, Jodie Foster and Cloris Leachman, and four nominees Karen Black, Catherine Burns, Ellen Corby, and Juanita Moore. Margaret O'Brien, a winner in the non-competitive juvenile category, also made an appearance. Additionally, Frank Duvall and Quinn K. Redecker, both Oscar nominees in categories other than acting, were part of the guest star lineup, with Duvall recognized for music and Redecker for writing. In the early seasons, the officers sported eight-point hats with brass buttons on their shirt pockets and epaulettes on their shoulders. The jackets were made of wool melton, However, when Edward M. Davis took over as LAPD chief, he introduced changes. He opted for round hats, antique silver buttons, and Eisenhower-style jackets, which became the norm in later seasons. The metallic blue Corvette he drove was the same model seen in Route 66, a nod to Martin Milner's previous role. Additionally, before the series aired, the Adam-12 call sign was frequently heard in its parent show, Dragnet, often in police radio traffic or through uniformed patrol officers assisting Sergeant Friday. Two television shows in which he starred, and for which he is probably most famous, are both renowned for filming primarily on location as opposed to on a Hollywood soundstage. The official Federal Communications Commission call sign for Los Angeles Police Department radio transmitters from 1948 through the 1980s is seen posted under the police cruiser's radio. On October 14, 2000, he and his co-star received the LAPD Historical Society's Jack Webb Award for their support of the LAPD. Did you know that in some episodes of a classic TV series, paramedics and cops cross paths at Rampart Hospital? The action got intense as one of the characters ended up getting shot four times in the line of duty, split evenly between him and his partner. Once, he took a hit in an episode involving a hostage situation, while another time, it was his partner who faced the danger. There's even an episode where the number 211, a police code for armed robbery, played a significant role. It's intriguing how these storylines unfold, isn't it? In the series, Reed and Malloy have an informant named TJ during the initial seasons, who is a recovering heroin addict. While Malloy and Reed remain constant as patrol officers, other patrol officers portrayed by various actors come and go throughout the series. Initially, Officer Jerry Walters and Officer Brinkman, played by William Stevens and Claude Johnson, are featured regularly. Another pair, Officer Russo and Officer Miller, portrayed by Robert Rothwell and Kenneth Washington, also make appearances. As the series progresses, new characters are introduced, including Ed Wills, portrayed by Gary Crosby, Steve Franken as Reserve Officer Albert Porter, William Wellman Jr. as Officer Bob Snyder, 
and Arnold F. Turner as another Officer Snyder. Fred Stromso takes over the role of Officer Jerry Woods, while William Elliott portrays Motorcycle Officer Grant, starting from Season 5 till the end of the series. Martin Milner, a notable figure in the series, is later reunited with co-star Kent McCord in Nashville Beat on the Nashville Network. McCord plays an L, a cop visiting his friend Milner, an ex alloy cop who becomes a Nashville cop. Fresh out of the academy, probationary officer Jim Reed is paired with veteran officer Pete Malloy. However, he had already appeared as LAPD officer Jim Reed in Dragnet 1967 nearly a year before this show debuted. The one-in-one Adam-12 stood for the area of the division in which they were stationed. Adam referred to the type of car they drove, and 12 was for the area they patrolled. However, one was the code for Central Division. Since the unit was shown working in Rampart Division, the actual call sign should have been 2 Adam-12. Martin Milner, top billed in two iconic television series with numbers in their title Route 66, and this one. In the closing credits, an arm strikes a die etching the Roman numeral 7 into the name of the production company, Mark 7 Limited. Reportedly, the arm belonged to Jack Webb, the series creator. Martin Milner, according to his audio commentary on a The Twilight Zone DVD, initially turned down the series to appear in a play he thought would be more successful, but the play flopped. The dispatcher's voice belonged to Sharon Claridge, a real Los Angeles dispatcher. Jack Webb believed using a real dispatcher for the voiceovers would lend authenticity to the program. In the later seasons, Malloy's personal vehicle was a tan AMC Matador Coupe. In a few episodes, he complains of it needing to go into the shop. This issue plays a major part in one episode from the last season. According to the LAPD training officers doing the audio commentary on the season 2 DVDs, the little medallions that Reed and Malloy wore on their uniforms signified their shooting abilities. In the case of Malloy, who had a gold medallion with two bars, he was rated as an distinguished expert shot, while Reed, who had a silver medallion with one bar, was a sharpshooter. The commenting officers also explained that police officers are required to be tested on their shooting skills every two years in the LAPD. Ken McCord married his high school sweetheart and has three children Kristen, who appeared on the show Megan, who appeared in Pine Canyon is Burning, and Michael, a famous director, visited the TV show set. He had a long talk with one of the actors about different parts of the show, like their roles and how they make it. The cops' holsters, called clamshell models, opened from the front with a hidden lever. This was so nobody could easily grab their guns. In one episode with a new cop played by another actor, something went wrong with the clamshell holster and he lost his gun. Because of this, the LAPD decided to stop using them. Starting from season 4, the patrol cars had the beat number on their roofs like 012 for Malloy and Reed, this helped the air patrol units. In the series, there were only six women who played police officers with speaking parts. In one episode, Nina Shipman acted as Jane Hayes, who used to date one of the main characters, Malloy, suggesting they broke up because she was a policewoman. Another episode had Beth Brickell as Doris Mills, a new officer assigned to work overnight with Malloy and Reed. Mary Angela Shea and Pepper Curtis played officers who got in trouble for not handling female prisoners properly. Brickell later returned as Sergeant Gloria Tyler, working on cases involving minors who were sexually assaulted. Joe Ann P. Flug played Dana Hall, a new officer dealing with sexism in the department. Martin Milner, who played Officer Pete Malloy, was known for his professionalism on set, rarely drinking except for particularly cold shoots. Milner and co-star Kent McCord, who played Jim Reed, were good friends both on and off set. The series was produced by Jack Webb, who is known for his realistic portrayal of police work, similar to his famous show Dragnet. Milner had worked with Webb before, and often got extra roles created for him by Webb, even if he didn't originally have a part in an episode. Milner was highly respected by his peers for his work in Adam-12, and in the entertainment industry overall. In the series, when vehicle license plates are checked for warrants or verification, most of them contain the letter O in reality, this was rare in California due to restrictions to prevent confusion with the number zero. The show was spoofed in Mad Magazine as Boredom 12. Some staples of the show include using the same sitter music for scenes involving youth and drugs or hippies, and the same electronic instrumental music for party noise complaints. Additionally, avocado green and dark wood paneled walls were frequently featured. The series follows a pattern where each episode in the initial three seasons begins with a log number, symbolizing entries in a police journal. 
Following Martin Milner's passing on September 6, 2015, LAPD dispatcher Sharon Claridge, who voiced the dispatcher on the show for all seven seasons, broadcast at the end of watch call transmission over the LAPD radio, acknowledging Milner's portrayal as Moonway in the show. The call, nearly three minutes long, served as a tribute. The series also reunites William Boyd and Art Gilmore, both regulars on Highway Patrol, although they never physically share the screen on that show as Gilmore provided narration off-screen. In a time when California's roads were adorned with six-digit license plates, a certain TV show captured the essence of police work like no other. These plates, carefully crafted to prevent confusion with numbers, played a crucial role in distinguishing real police cars from props on the set. As the story unfolded over its seasons, viewers keen on details might have noticed a subtle change in one character's appearance. In the early episodes, a certain actor wore a wedding ring, hinting at his character's marital status. However, as time went on, this detail faded away, unnoticed by many but speaking volumes about character development. The climax of the series brought a significant moment for two main characters. In the final episode, one of them received a Medal of Valor for saving the other's life, cementing their bond in a heroic act. This act underscored the deep connection between them, offering a fitting end to their partnership. In the world of this TV show, every detail mattered, from the license plates to the evolution of characters. It's a reminder of how storytelling in the realm of law enforcement can captivate audiences with its attention to detail and character depth. In its final season, one of the officers, Malloy, had a girlfriend named Judy, portrayed by Anita Corsout, who made occasional appearances throughout the show. Meanwhile, Kristen Harmon, who played Jim Reed's wife, Jean, in the same season, was married to Ricky Nelson, a close friend of Kent McCord, one of the main actors, and was credited as Kristen Nelson. Interestingly, Reed's marital status contrasted with Malloy's, although some viewers felt it should have been the other way around, suggesting that Reed, being the more conventionally attractive character, should have been single. This, they argued, would have added a dynamic element to the series, making it more appealing to a broader audience. This perspective suggests a missed opportunity to capitalize on potential tension in the storyline. It's a reflection of the creator's approach to character dynamics, which was also evident in other series like Dragnet. However, this oversight may have overlooked the potential interests of female viewers. In the portrayal of injuries, Adam Twell seldom displays blood splatter in cases involving gunshot wounds, although blood may be seen in the vicinity of the injury. Noteworthy is the appearance of bewitched series regulars such as Dick Sargent, David White, Casey Rogers, and Sandra Good on the show. Additionally, Dick Wilson, known for his recurring role as the unnamed drunk, also made appearances. Had he and his partner been actual LAPD officers, they would have boasted remarkable careers. Despite the rarity of officers discharging firearms on duty, he and his partner fired shots multiple times each season. Both of them were involved in fatal shootouts, experienced individual and joint kidnappings, and endured being shot at least once. Notably, their incorruptibility was marked by their high moral standards, making them impervious to bribery or influence. In filming, close-up shots of the officers in Adam-12 were captured by towing their car with a camera car. To avoid reflections on the windshield, it was removed, but this caused their hair to blow in the wind. A shield was then created to enclose the camera in front of the car, solving the issue. Martin Milner's portrayal of veteran patrol officer Peter Malloy in the series inspired many to join law enforcement. He received letters from officers thanking him for his role. Los Angeles Chief of Police Charlie Beck stated that the show embodied the spirit of the LAPD, leading to a surge in applications to join the force, including his own. In two episodes, the show's title is the name of one of the officers, both dealing with personal challenges Gus Corbin, who struggles with perceived youthfulness, and Dana Hall, facing discrimination as a female officer. In the early seasons, the patrol car Malloy and Reed drove around and bore the number 817, later changed to 012. This change didn't affect their efficiency in policing the streets as they continued to tackle various cases and uphold the law. The alteration of the car number was just one of the subtle shifts in the series that kept viewers engaged and attentive. Such details contributed to the overall authenticity and realism of the show, adding depth to the characters and their environment. Throughout their adventures, he and his partner encountered a wide array of situations, showcasing their dedication and professionalism.